I have been thinking about quitting YouTube for over a year now. I'm Frédéric and I'm starting this styling fashion beauty channel with a French twist in 2020. The first three years were fun, horrible, hard. YouTube is bloody hard. I didn't know anything about YouTube or even social media, working with brands, researching, scripting, how to use a professional camera. I had so many problems with the sound and editing, designing thumbnails and playing the game. I grew and mature with you and also with YouTube. To be honest with you, I'm now making a multiple of six figures income. So why am I thinking of quitting YouTube after five years and over 270,000 subscribers. What the F? Outside of quitting YouTube is you, my community, reading your comments, sometimes emails, your kind world, your support for watching and liking my content for so many years. And this is why I truly torture my mind for months, pacing, talking to my friends, what I should do, what I'm going to do. Please believe me what I said. I'm exactly the same person in front of a camera than in real life. I had so many comments of people said, do people know that you really like that as well in real life? I'm like, yes, no, they don't. <laughs> and I'm a very honest person. I'm very transparent, but I'm also super sensitive, hard worker. You have no idea. And I truly love you. Without you, all this won't exist. In five years, I created over 800 videos, the short included. I think I spent close to 2,000 hours of researching. You were always in my mind and I'm always thinking, how can I help you more? What do you really need right now? But come on, how many more videos can I create to advise you how to look like a Parisienne, how to dress better, how to look younger, what to dress when you're petite, how to dress if you to look slimmer or taller or how to create another capsule wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> which, which color you should wear for the next fashion trend. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? I would like to say as well, I'm extremely grateful with the brands that I work with in the last few years. Some were really amazing, kind, such as Vivaya. No, this video is not sponsored. And some were truly horrible too with creators like me, treating us like poo. We have to chase payment. Some talent agency are the worst, in my opinion. And yeah, Yes, it's true. YouTube is nothing else than a business and a massive, big business. And I can tell you, it's the jungle out there. I also noticed a change in my mental health, especially this year. Every morning I woke up and this is bad, by the way, I do not recommend to do that. And I switched my phone on even before having a cup of tea and check the analytics for my YouTube channel. Before, every time I posted a video, I will have, in average, it's always never the same, okay? I will have a thousand views per hour for one video. I'm lucky if one of my videos now do 30,000 views within a week. And when it happens, and when I see some videos, really good videos, that I work really hard of creating the thumbnails and the titles, the content, of course, and paying for the editing, or sometimes I'm editing myself all weekends just to be sure it's going to be posted on time, I feel shit about but myself, I feel like I failed. It was, it was not right. Plus, we have a massive uh, cherry on the cake or on top of the cake. I need to talk about the trolls. Ah, criticizing my hair, the tattoos, the glasses, that I'm forcing my French accent, that no one talk like that. And I just want to say to the people who are always criticizing my accent or dickhead, I speak five other languages. And sometimes said, oh, my accent is so fake. She's not even French. Is she Russian? One even said, my teeth looks like the barracuda, you know, the beautiful fish. So this one, it was funny for me because I'm a scuba diver and I know barracudas, they look beautiful. And no, my teeth do not like them. But you know what? Why not? Give it to me. And of course, I look my age. I look younger. I look so much older. Oh, she had so much work done on her face. My lips are fake. They're too big. Oh yeah, by the way, for my lips, I don't have fillers on my lips. Okay, this is a story of my life. I'm going to say only once and I take advantage of this video because I never talk about it. You know the frustration? Okay, I finish about the lips. Even young age, when fillers didn't exist, I had people insulting me in Paris Street, said I had 
silicone on my lips. I'm born like that and they used to be much bigger, period. I just put glossy and that's it. Oh yeah, my eyes are not symmetric. I'm aware of that. Can change it, okay? Imagine a world for you. You wake up every morning and you open your phone and every morning you have this type of comments for five years, every day. Of course, I'm not talking about the good comments, but we talk about the trolls, okay? And I'm not even talking about the periods when I had a facelift last year and I made a video about it. Oh my gosh, silly me. I didn't anticipate how truly ugly people can be and the comments were so ugly. I literally removed the video and I actually didn't film for a while on YouTube or didn't post anything because I was so done and I had a mini burnout as well. Nothing is worse to feel shit about strangers who you don't even know or criticizing you or attacking you literally on social media. It's ridiculous. But bullying is real. Don't get me wrong. I'm a strong woman. I have a thick skin. But I'm not Wonder Woman in the same time. I want to say to the trolls, maybe they will watch this video because apparently it's new as well. People now who hate you, follow you to hate you more. <laughs> I want to tell to those people... Uh, F off. You are lucky on YouTube. We cannot, you creators, answer to those comments because it's public, it's bad for our image. And of course, we cannot get inside of the game of those trolls. But so many times, you are lucky not to be in front of me and thinking seriously. So get a life, you stupid. Check your mental health. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm glad I said that. That saved me two years in therapy, by the way. Plus, I want to talk about something I talk sometimes very few you uh, in my videos, I want to talk about the people who are fake and copycat on social media, but especially on YouTube. I'm talking about those YouTubers who are copying my full scripts, almost word by word, or they just change a little bit the intro, my thumbnails, or some even using my name in the title of the video without even contacting me or asking permission. So many times I have to contact YouTube for copyright infringement. So many times YouTube didn't answer. Even the best, not long time ago, I had a comment saying, oh, you're copying the video of his creator. And I'm like, are you bloody kidding me? And I'm responding, no, you are wrong. This creator copying me. Look at the date of the video. You can tell I've been posting first. This one's using my, using my thumbnail. This one is <laughs> using my title. This one is using everything. Oh my gosh, really? So creators are not even able to create themselves, they have to copy overs. Of course, those videos we are doing very well. You are not going to copy a video with 5,000 views on it. I get it. <laughs> the truth about YouTube is not about the number of subscribers. It's about the number of views and likes. The first 24 hours when you posted a video and, and it will grow. But after a week, it's dead. Whatever some people who are teaching you how to be creating on YouTube is not true. But don't worry, I'm not here to teach you how YouTube works. But I'm going to tell you the algorithm of YouTube changed a lot in the last two years. Of course, there are more competition. That's not the problem. It's the problem of some big YouTubers, the real big one who have 1 million, 3 million subscribers and have barely 10 or 30,000 views on one video. You see the problem here? I've seen, I know, and I know one of you are really concerned about that. It's not only about subscribing to the channel, you need to have this little bell. Otherwise, you won't be notified when I post a new video, which is totally unfair because you already subscribed. And that's already a lot asking about someone, okay? And a lot of you subscribe even with the little bell and I tested with two friends of mine in two different countries do not even get notified when I'm posting a video. You can't win. Also, the problem with YouTube, and this is really important and is concerning you as well, is when you're starting a YouTube channel and you talk about the niche. The niche is something, a topic you're going to talk about. Mine was fashion and styling tips. And I wanted to do a bit different. So I made some videos about um, womenly qualities. I wanted to do some, I don't like this word, but coaching about 
had to feel better, you know. I had, I made some videos about social media video reaction last year. Don't get me wrong, those videos, bad or good, I had so much fun of making them. And then I had a few videos that I talk about a scandal. This one did very well, but YouTube algorithm is really fixed on when you start talking about. Soon you talk about something else, they don't like it. It's just a computer with algorithm and they don't know where to direct your videos to the audience because nothing is more important to YouTube, the audience. Usually if you watch one of my styling tips video, then you're going to be recommended more styling tips videos from the others. That's the game. But I also noticed some, especially this year, um, one of my videos suddenly out of the blue is doing very well. I knew it at 97% chances the next video will plunge. And guess what? Never been wrong on that. You don't know why. Lately as well, I got a video who did well and soon I checked the analytics and this doesn't make sense because my main audience are in the States, Australia, UK and Canada, uh, English speaking mostly. And I had this video posted like two weeks ago who actually had a main audience in India with a 70% of male which absolutely not my audience of course I'm going to have more views because in India but I never posted on Indian time or anything and it totally plunged the value of the sh of the video I'm not making money on this video and you know this is how YouTube hook creators or YouTubers it's dopamine it's soon you have one video is doing extremely well the others will crash but you high on dopamine and we all have a drink. One of my videos one day will be viral. I never share that with you at all, but I have over YouTube channels with less subscribers, better performance. It's not me on the screen, surprise. They are making much more money than this channel. This channel do not pay enough for the bills. And I can tell you, I spent so many hours and tears and sweat on it. So I put some numbers together. Sometimes you're lucky if YouTube's going to pay you, I took in US dollars, eight dollars for a thousand views. And that's all before tax, by the way. Everybody's paying 24 to 25 percent taxes to YouTube every month. So let's say you work like uh, six hours per day when you're a full time YouTuber, and that's a minimum. And it's like 180 hours. And if you all divided that, it's an average of 14 dollars per hour, but that's before tax, okay? So after tax, let's say maybe, okay, this is an average, huh? 10 dollars per hour to be bullied on online. Okay, sorry, I'm turning into a sarcastic bitch here, but I'm very realistic, okay? But what you don't know, or maybe you probably know, I truly love helping people and women to feel and to look stronger and better. I love creating those courses. I love to make you smile when you're learning something from me. I love that I can help you to improve little, little part of your life, but I don't enjoy anymore. How many times can I tell you which top you should wear with these tailor pants with those shoes? I have more to offer than fashion tips or styling tips or tell you you don't look frumpy, you have to look more expensive. Come on. By the way, my styling course is so much better quality, full of tips. I will link it below for you. So what to do? What to do? Okay, I'm going to take you in my brainstorm of the last 12 months. First one, I was thinking about closing the channel for good. But the only thing is being holding me back, it was you. I was scared of disappointing you. You know, my core audience, the, the, the ladies who's been here for day one, the, oh, that breaks my heart, really, because I truly love you. And I thought, but hey, what the heck, you know, you can watch the other ladies who are copying me and whatever they good are not or what they do. But it's also 2025 and YouTube is changing super fast. I'm changing too. I'm not the same woman that five years ago. It's just time for a change. Number two, I thought very seriously of selling this YouTube channel. They are a big business out there of selling TikTok, Instagram, YouTube channels. Because some people want to buy, let's say, a YouTube channel with already the subscribers. It's already monetized. It's already have the credibility in terms of years of existence that's got value based on YouTube. What they do, they just removed all the videos, they rebrand the video, they change the keyword, hashtag, maybe a different topic, you know, they know they're going to lose some subscribers, but they don't have to start from scratch because starting from scratch on YouTube can take minimum a year if you're really good 
two years to really start knowing how to play the game. So I contacted a company, a platform online who is specialized and very serious of selling YouTube channels. And I had a valuation of my channel. Are you ready? I fell off my chair when I saw that. This YouTube channel is valued between 85 to 105,000 US dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money that I could reinvest in my other businesses. Solution number three, or thinking about number three. I keep this channel, I keep my name, a name that Frédéric, that you can barely pronounce or even write properly in the comments, don't worry, that makes me smile more than anything else. I remove all the videos, all of them already removed this week, all the shots, and I start fresh. And I know YouTube algorithm is going to be confused. It's not a punishment, it's confusing, it's going to take a while, okay? Plus I know a majority of you, you have subscribed to my channel and I'm grateful for that, for my styling tips. But listen, beauty is dying on YouTube. It's been years, it's like slowly plunging. Same for fashion, same for styling tips. And maybe you don't know, but creators, we know that because we keep in touch with what happened in YouTube and statistics and things like that. People right now are barely watching TV. They're watching YouTube as usually for two things, mainly entertainment or education. Actually, the last study said people are watching more YouTube than Netflix, especially now on the TV. So this is why I'm telling you the YouTube game is absolutely incredible right now. And I know a lot of you will unsubscribe, but before, please let me finish this video because I'm going to make this video only once in my life, okay? I understand you can unsubscribe or not watching the future videos if. I did the same, especially for a lady that I used to watch for many years at the beginning when I started this YouTube channel. She was giving a lot of tips about YouTube. She was so good about it. And suddenly she changed totally a YouTube channel to a vlog of a boring life and a new baby. Unsubscribe within two seconds. Please do not unsubscribe yet, okay? Watch to the end. What I would like to say now in a clear way, sorry, I'm a bit emotional, so my mind is all over the shop. Now you know how to dress well. You know what is best for for you, okay? But what about, just an idea like that, what about if I teach you something else, something even better than styling and fashion? What about if I show you how to make money? Wait before judging me. It's not money for a social statue or buying the latest designer handbag and show off on social media. No, no, it's much smarter than that. Making money and have a it's peace of mind. It's also freedom. It's also give you a better variety of choices of your life, where you want to live, what you want to buy, and your peace of mind. And this has absolutely a value on it. And life is too short. It goes so quickly. And I could teach you how to do it much faster than me without the mistakes. And if you want to learn all this for free, maybe you should watch my future videos. Today is the 1st of December when I'm filming, and it's funny because in one month exactly, on the 1st of January, will be my birthday. I will be on a tropical island, not far from Bali, with my friends. I'm going to do a lot of scuba diving, hopping every day. I'm going to do a lot of sleeping. I need to catch up. My first big, real holiday of the year. And I'm going to drink a lot of spicy margaritas not maybe in this order. And if you want to follow everything, just follow me on my Instagram. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Personally, I will be back in January. Now the question is, are you?